to show you how to make a terminal using Python. So let's get started. First, we need to install Python. To do that, open up your terminal by pressing Control T on your keyboard. So the first command we have to enter is sudo apt install python3. Enter your password. Punch that in real quick. And our install python, so it's installed. Okay, now we have to install pip. To do that, just type in sudo apt install python 3 dash dash pip. Type an error. And our name is on pip, so it's there. Okay, now we have to install the time module. To do that, just even pip install time and click on error. I get this error since I already have time installed. Okay, we're done with installing Python and installing the modules we need. So now what we can do is just close out this terminal and open up a Visual Studio Code window. Now click on a file and click on new file. I'm going to just name it terminal.py and save it on my desktop. There we go. Now we have to first import time. So just take an import time. Okay. And first we have to print out our logo. So to do that, just do a print function. This is a pretty simple function. It, basic, it basically just prints out what you say to print out. Okay, now we have to go to F symbols to get our custom logo. And write wherever you want your terminal to be named. I'm just going to name it terminal 1. And copy this text. And then paste it in our print function. You can close your web browser while copying something from the clipboard. So let me just do that again. Of symbols. And F symbols and we just type in terminal one and this time I'm gonna minimize the browser. Oops, I didn't copy it. Copy. Copy the text and paste it. There we go. Now we wanna add our prompt. So to do that we have to do a input. So I'm just gonna do an a a enter equals to input and then put in quotation marks what you want to prompt to be. I'm just going to do these three arrows and the arrows and then a space so they get a space to do what they type, what they want to type. Okay, so let me explain what this line of code does. So it's basically going to Put it as an inputable, not just print it, and then, and then the user gets to do nothing. Here you can actually are gonna enter commands, but we have to enter commands, make commands first. So let's make our first command. To do that, just even if enter, oops, enter. I accidentally put in our e. Unnecessary. So just type in if enter equals equals to in quotation marks uh, a ver, let's say, for the version. And we're going to do just for a uh, two dots. And then we're going to make a space. Now we're in this if function. So whatever we do here is going to be in the if function. So I'm just going to point out, I forgot an important thing is that we have to write here a while true command for all this code to keep running. There we go. And then 
we have to fix the indentation. Indentation in Python is extremely important. There we go. Now we're going to just print out a uh, version. So I'm just going to do terminal 1. There we go. Now let's run this. So go to this one tab in visual code and type in run without debugging and wait for it to run. There we go. We have our terminal 1 prompt as well as where three errors, arrows, which is our prompt. Okay, let's type in verb. And it says terminal 1 and it returns us back to a prompt. That's what this while true command does. It basically repeats all this code. This this line and or equals to input every time when this executes. Okay, the next function we are gonna do is going to be to let's say that we want to make a repair mode like so. We're gonna type in if enter is equal. We just fix the annotation equal to a repair then this is where time module is coming into play so if it equals equals to repair we're gonna just say print rep print scanning and repairing drive c so it just be scanning and repairing we just repairing drive say and a code there we go now let's put our time to sleep command into play and let's say that I want this to wait four seconds there we go. Now we can run this again. And there we go. Let's type in ver first. We have our version, which is terminal one. Now let's do a repair, which is the second thing we made. And it just says scanning and paying drive C and waits here for a couple uh, for four seconds and then brings this back to our prompt. So this is basically what the time.sleep command does. And this basically emulates uh, like when you're waiting for your computer to do something. Okay. Uh, the next command uh, we want to do, the next command we want to do is make a simple BIOS command. So we're going to if enter equals equals to BIOS. We're going to put these two and then we're going to print and then we're going to do a pass equals to input equals equals uh, equals to input or we can do pass maybe yeah pass equals to input and then let's say enter your admin password. This one is gonna get a little complex. Okay, now we're just gonna do a if statement, but this if statement is gonna valid be only to this function. Since as you can see, all the other if statements are like this. So we're gonna do actually just make the annotation like this for the other function. If uh, pass, is equal equal to a which is going to be our admin password i know is super secure then we're going to print out our bias so oops printing out let's just do a main category and then we're going to do time is equal to let's say that's 12 on the 15th of january uh, it's the 
It's December 15, 2022. I know that's already passed, but I just said the time. So we can make some kind of, some type of vials. And we're gonna, for the main as well, uh, set a OS. And then we're gonna say OS equals to, uh, we're just gonna say Ubuntu 22.04. Which is this case just my operating system. And then that's gonna be our main. You can make obviously an entire BIOS with advanced center, but uh, it's gonna be a huge waste of time to just type in a bunch of print, just to type in a bunch of BIOS stuff. Okay, now we can run this. And I do want to quit the current learning interface. Okay, let's test out all the commands. Verb. Show the terminal one. Repair. Scanning and repairing drive C. Let's wait four seconds. There we go. It's done. Then let's type in BIOS. And then it asks for admin password. Let's type in A. And shows our main part of the BIOS. There we go. Now we're going to do a control S. And close out of this uh, 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 VS Code window, and we're just gonna search for terminal, open up a terminal, and just type in Python. First, we need to go into the location of our Python file. I'm in my desktop, so we just see the desktop, and then type in Python. We Terminal.py. There we go, we have our terminal one. Let's do vert. Terminal one. Repair. Scanning our prime drive C. There we go. It's done. Now we're gonna do now we're just gonna do our final function, our final command, which is boss, and then enter our enemy password A, and then we have our boss. That's pretty much how to make a terminal using Python. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And with all that said, bye!